Hello again with another session. American English File, Second Edition, Book One, Student Book, Part 8C. Okay, a night in a haunted hotel. Now, first, I have some questions for you. Do you believe in ghosts? What's a ghost? Search it in Google. Good, yeah, that's a ghost. Are there buildings in your town or city that people think are haunted? What does it mean, haunted? It means that there are ghosts in it. Ooh. Hmm? Okay, so talk to your partner. Very nice. Now, everybody read the text once and find out. Who are the ghosts in the two hotels? And check the things that happen in the hotels. All right? So listen and check and write about the ghosts. This is on you. Good? Now let's read the readings together. There are many hotels in Britain that people say are haunted. If you are feeling brave, you can stay the night in one of these hotels. England, Gosworth Hall Inn. Gosworth Hall is a small hotel in Cumbria, in the north of England, built in 1658. 1658. People say the hotel has a ghost of a Catholic priest. A Catholic priest. He usually appears in room 11. There is a secret tunnel that goes from behind the fireplace in the hotel lounge to room 11. In 17th century England, Catholic priests used the tunnel to hide from the Protestants. The owner of the hotel, Rod Davis, says I didn't believe in ghosts before I came here. But strange things hap uh, happen in the hotel. One guest woke up in the middle of the night and saw a tall man standing next to his bed. He checked out the next morning. Rod's wife says, one night, a lot of books fell off a shelf in the lounge. And sometimes when I'm working, I feel that someone is watching me. But when I turn around, nobody's there. Mm -hmm. Now, Scotland. Camlangan Castle. Camlangan is a 15th century castle in a small village near Dumfries in southwest Scotland. The castle is haunted by the Green Lady. The Green Lady, the ghost of Lady Marion Caruthers. Lady Marion was unhappy because she was married to a man she didn't love. And in 1570, she jumped from the castle walls and killed herself. Many strange things happen in the hotel. Doors open and close, the lights go on and off in empty rooms. An American couple once opened the door of their room and saw a young woman sitting on the bed. They left because they thought they were in the wrong room. In fact, it was their room. But when they came back, the room was empty. All right. So we have the green lady and we have the ghost of a Catholic priest. All right. Now, what happened in those hotels? All right. People see something, doors open and close, lights go on and off, things fall on the floor. People feel that somebody is watching them. Interesting, right? Hmm. Now, look at the highlighted words in the text, everybody. Lounge, owner, checked out, guest, suite, all right? Now, check their meaning. Good. You can use a dictionary. You can use Google Translate in your language as well. Tell your partners. Well done. Now, would you like to stay in a haunted hotel? Hmm? A hotel with goats, then maybe demons. All right. I don't know. I haven't tried it. And I don't believe in such things. But you have to see. Now, vocabulary, prepositions, place and movement. Look at these two pictures. Where is the woman sitting? Where is the man standing? Tell me. All right. The, the woman is sitting on the bed. The woman is sitting on the bed and the man is standing next to the bed. Next to. All right. Well done. 
All right, yeah. Sitting on the bed and the man is standing next to the bed. Now, prepositions, place and movement. Everybody, first, we're going to match the places. For example, number one, behind. Behind, all right? The, the ghost is behind the all right, sofa, all right? The ghost is behind the sofa, all right? So match the pictures with the words. Use the numbers. For example, number one, behind, all right? Do it. Good. Now, everybody listen and check. 4.21 2 In 5 In front of 9 On 3 Under 1 Behind 7 Between 8 Across from 6 Next to 4 Over Okay, well done, very good. Now, check your answers with your partner. Good, these are the answers. All right, now practice this with your partner. For example, where is the ghost? It's under the bed. Look, where is the ghost? It's under the bed. Well done. Practice with your partner. Very good. Now, the movement. Again, match the words and pictures. All right, for example, number one, toward, toward. Okay, as you know, again, do it. Now, listen and check. 4.22 5 From 2 6 Into 3 Out of 2 Up 4 Down 1 Toward Okay, well done, very good. Again, check your answers with your partner. But now, these are the answers. Now, again, practice. Where is the ghost going? It's going from the living room to room 11. All right? Okay, so where is the ghost going? Number two, the ghost is going up the stairs. Do it with your partner. All right, now, pronunciation. Everybody... S -s 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 -s. Silent letters. Some English words have a silent letter in the cupboard. Now you don't pronounce the P. The P is S -s -s -s. silent. All right. Now listen and cross out the silent letter. The silent letter. Do it. 4.23 Building Castle Could Friend Ghost Guest Half Hour No Listen Talk What Right. All right. So, building, castle, castle. What's silent? <laughs> Only. All right. Or building. All right. Could. Could. Friend. Ghost. Guest. Half. Hour. No. The K is silent. Listen. Talk. What? Right. Okay? All right. You can practice saying these words. Now, we have something more important. We have a listening, everybody, now. A newspaper. Newspaper. The Sunday Times sent one of its journalists 
Stefan Bleach to Gosworth Hall Inn. They asked him to spend the night in room 11. Oh, okay, good. Now listen to part one of Stefan's night. Correct the information in these sentences. Correct the information. All right, listen. 4.24 I arrived at Gosforth Hall late in the evening. I don't believe in ghosts, but yes, I felt a little nervous. I checked in, and the front desk clerk gave me the key and showed me to my room. I left my things in the room and came downstairs. There weren't many other guests in the hotel. There were only three. I sat in the lounge and I talked to the manager, Sarah Daniels, about her hotel. Then I had a drink and at 12 o'clock, I went upstairs to my room. Room 11 was on the top floor. I opened the door and turned on the light. It was a very big room, very old, and yes, it was a little spooky. There was an old TV on a table, but there wasn't a remote control. I turned on the TV. There was a movie on. I was happy to see that it wasn't a horror movie. I decided to watch the movie but I was tired after my long trip, and after half an hour, I went to sleep. Okay, very good. Now, check your answers with your partner. Mm -hmm. Right, he arrived at Gosworth Hall early in the evening. He arrived at Gosworth Hall late in the evening. Number two, there were four other guests in the hotel. There were three other guests in the hotel. Number three, he talked to one of the guests. He talked to the hotel manager. Number four, the manager was a man. The manager was a woman. Number five, he went to his room at 11. He went to his room at 12. Number six, the room 11 was on the first floor. No, room 11 was on the top floor. Number seven, the room was very small. The room was very big. Number eight, there was a TV and a remote control. Eight, there wasn't a remote control. Number nine, there was a horror movie on TV. There wasn't a horror movie on TV. And number 10, he went to sleep at the end of the movie. He went to sleep before the end of the movie after half an hour. Good. Well done. You did very good. But we have another part. Now, do you think... A seven saw the ghost. Listen to part two and find out. Listen again and answer the questions. Okay, now everybody, now listen and answer the questions. Did he wake up during the night? If yes, what time? Did anything strange happen? If yes, what? All right, let's go. 4.25 In the middle of the night, I suddenly woke up. I looked at my watch. It was two o'clock in the morning. The TV was off. But how? There was no remote control, and I didn't get up and turn it off. The light was on, but suddenly, the light went off too. Now I was scared. I couldn't see anything strange, but I could feel that there was somebody or something in the room. I got out of bed and turned on the light and TV again. Little by little, I started to relax and I went to sleep again. <sighs> when I woke up, it was morning. I had breakfast and checked out. I left the hotel about 10 o'clock. So the question is, did you see the ghost? No, I didn't see the ghost, 
but I definitely felt something or somebody in the room when I woke up in the night. Were you frightened? Yes, I was. Very frightened. Would you like to spend another night in the hotel? Definitely, yes. Why? Well, I'm sure there was something strange in that room. I can't explain the television and the light. I want to go back because I want to see the ghost. Okay, so first, did Stefan see the ghost? No, Stefan didn't see the ghost. Now, number one, did he wake up during the night, yes or no? And if yes, what time? Yes, 2 a.m. Did anything strange happen? If yes, what? Yes, the TV and the light went off. Number three, did he feel the ghost? Yes. Was he frightened? Very. Would he like to go back? Yes. Why? Because he wants to see the ghost. Ooh. Okay. Well done. Now, grammar. Everybody, there was, there were. Now, complete the sentences from the listening with was, wasn't, were, or weren't. Okay, then listen and check. Okay? Good. Do it. All right, let's check it. 4.26 1. There weren't many other guests in the hotel. 2. There were only three. 3. There was an old TV on a table. 4. There wasn't a remote control. Okay, so these are the answers. There weren't many other guests in the hotel, number two. There were only three. And number three, there, there was an old TV on the table. And number four, there wasn't a remote control. Now, everybody, there was, there were. Do you remember? We practiced there is, there are. But in the past, there was and there were. First, listen and practice. 4.27 There was an old TV. There wasn't a remote control. Was there a ghost? Yes, there was. No, there wasn't. There were only three guests. There weren't any more people. Were there any windows? Yes, there were. No, there weren't. Okay, good. Now, singular means one. Plural, two, three, right good now singular positive there was an old tv plural two three four there were only three guests negative there wasn't a remote control negative there weren't any more people now when you want to question you flip it was there a ghost were there any windows yes no answers yes there was no there wasn't Yes, there were. No, there weren't. Easy, right? Easy for you because you're the best. Now, there was and where is the past of there is and there are. I told you. Let's practice them. Okay? Ready? Let's see. Now, first, you have to complete the dialogue with the correct form of there was or there were. For example, how many guests were there in the hotel? Right? This is the first one. And part B, complete the sentences with there was or there were or there wasn't or there weren't plus a or an or some or any. For example, there were some ghosts in the haunted hotel I stayed in. Right? Very good. Stop the video and do it. Good. Check it with your partner. Very nice. Okay, let's do it together. How many guests were there in the hotel? There were four, including me. There was a Brazilian tourist and 
there were two businessmen. Good. Was there a restaurant? No, there wasn't. But there was a coffee shop. Was there a refrigerator in your room? Yes, there was. But there weren't any drinks in it. How many beds were there? One, a double bed. Nice. Part B. My sister didn't take a shower because there was a spider in the bathtub. Ooh. Number two. We couldn't watch the news because there wasn't a TV in our room. Number three. I couldn't sleep on the plane because there were some noisy children behind me. Behind me. All right. Number four. They couldn't pay, play tennis because there weren't any tennis balls. All right. And number five. She didn't have a coffee because there weren't any cups. And number six. He took a photo because there was a beautiful view. Number seven. They couldn't park near the restaurant because there wasn't a parking lot. And number eight, I couldn't work in the hotel because there wasn't a computer. Well done, everybody. It's easy as it is. You just have to believe it. When you start, you finish it. It's easy to finish it once you start. Let's go. Now, speaking. First, what do you see in the picture? All right. Okay. This picture. Now there is a photo. Are there lamps? Talk about the picture with your partner. Speak. Good. And that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. Practice every day. And I've got your back. You can ask all your questions in the comments.